Hey everyone, Christopher here, and welcome back to the Boldly Grow Homestead. I got some uh, garden maintenance to do. Start getting this thing ready for uh, coming winter. Um, so I thought I'd bring you along. Let's go. Homesteading, the original frontier. These are the adventures of the Boldly Grow Homestead. It's continuing mission to coexist with the environment, to find new plant varieties and new inspirations. To boldly grow like no one has grown before. All right, so we're out here in the main garden bed. Um, ignore all my junk over there. Um, as you saw in my latest video, planted the garlic in here. Still got a little bit of um, marigolds hanging on. Zinnia over here, all by its lonesome, but still looking beautiful. I'm gonna let this go. Maybe it'll self-seed itself here. Um, the deer have done damage to the rest of it, but at least we have a little bit of color. Um, I have these dahlias back here that need to come up and go into storage. And then got this trailing nasturtium, still doing its thing, um, waiting to pick some of the seeds when they're ready. Where is it? There they are. To plant next year. I actually just bought a uh, planter like a little hanging basket with some of the uh, um, coconut fiber uh, that I'm going to hang here next year and have the trailing nasturtium come down from the top instead of trying to get it to go up. Um, we just mulched up a whole bunch of leaves last night so I need to start covering the main bed as well as the side garden with that. Let's see, anything back here? All oh, this needs to be mulched. These were, I believe, uh, calendula that just never made it. Um, in part, the deer, and other part, just too late in the season. But they're green, so I'll let them keep doing their thing. Um, got some cover crops going here, as well as back there. Not a lot, but there's some. I have to mark, you can't even really see it, this little red stick here have to mark where the um, milkweed is, butterfly milkweed, as well as where the strawberries are. And look at that. She's still flowering. Although, looks like something's probably the deer been munching on the leaves. So I'm going to rake up pine needles and mulch in here um, and demarcate where some of these plants are that are going to come back, hopefully come back next year. I am also going to plant some more milkweed seeds in here since they do like being cold stratified. I figured I might as well do it the natural way and plant them ahead of time and uh, see how that works. Maybe that'll give them a head start on the slugs next season. And then I got to demarcate these, these lupin. I don't know if they're even going to make it back next year, but I'll mark them out just in case. Uh, let's see anything else? A little something popping up here. Uh, yeah, but before I do any of that mulching, I have a ton of acorns that I probably won't get them all out, but I want to get a bunch of them out just so it's a little less weeds next year. Um, oak, baby oaks are definitely my dominant weed, followed by uh, baby maples, because of course our primary leaf mulch is maple so it's inevitable that you bring in maple seeds when you're bringing in the leaves so uh, yeah I'm gonna set up the camera and get started <sighs> this is gonna take a while was over in the strawberry area I thought I'd show a few things that I've noticed so far got some nice little mushroom there um, got a big old mushroom right here and uh, 
Now, that's the hole. So a lot more to go. Um, did I lose them? I lost them. I had a couple. Oh, no, there's one. Little acorns that have some nice little borings in them. I'm not sure which kind of critter likes to bore into uh, acorns. I'll have to look into that, but neat little evidence of wildlife at work. All right. Back to it. I really probably should have a hard hat doing this. The uh, oak tree is still attacking with acorns. Uh, maybe it doesn't like me taking them all out of the garden. Speaking of which, this one just hit me in the head. Look who it is, my little nemesis, the meadow slug. I was really hoping that the, the cold would have killed him off by now. Not that I'm really worried about any of my plants at this point. It's more than just the principle of the thing. Oh well. Let's see, other highlights from the strawberry bed. We got a volunteer borage coming up. I had one planted here earlier, so it's not surprising. And they're throwing acorns at me again. And I got these little Little puffballs. I'm assuming there's some sort of fungus coming out of the mulch, but I don't know. Where's the other ones? Ah, uh, where'd they go? Yeah, there's the other ones. But let me know if you guys have any thoughts. If I come up with an answer between now and when this video goes up, I'll put it on screen. Alright, so it's been quite a bit of time later. Do you hear that? That was an acorn. Um, hundreds upon hundreds of acorns just in the strawberry section alone. Most of what's in there now are just caps, though I'm sure there's still plenty I missed, but I'm not going to go crazy with it. It's a, a losing battle. Um, there's still a lot of acorns on the outside of the strawberry bed, but I'm not sure I'm going to bother as much with them. Um, they'll be more accessible to, to pick uh, baby trees next year, uh, whereas in there is a little bit more difficult to, to get to, especially once things are growing. And I'll be here all year if I'm just picking acorns. Um, that was the greatest concentration anyways, because that's, you know, right below this beautiful oak tree. So I think I'm going to demarcate myself a little area and put some milkweed seeds in and uh, then I'll start mulching the this outside the outside portion of this bed Got the strawberry bed in the center there, and I've demarcated a section where I'm going to plant some milkweed. Um, I know for those of you who are uh, very artsy, it's not center. It is what it is. Um, though the the general concept is in my head is that in a rough center would have some nice milkweed coming up, and then the strawberries would fill in the surrounding. Um, I did have strawberries all the way around, but some of them did not make it. So I need to replant some. But anywho, um, I put the four stakes in for a boundary. Uh, the one in the middle is next to the the uh, plant start I had put in earlier in the season. Uh, hopefully that comes back. Um, and then I just took a, a garden hoe and I sort of loosened up the soil. Um, this garden bed is extremely compact, so uh, it's nice to loosen it up a little bit. Um, I got two different types. Of seeds here we got swamp milkweed from mi gardener and butterfly milkweed from baker creek so i'm not going to bother with any exact spacing i'm just going to mix the seeds to, uh, together in my hand and then just sprinkle them in there and cover it up um, and uh, see what happens hopefully they they survive the slugs but as i see the slugs don't mind the cold too much so we'll see what happens i will also cold stratify and get some started um, indoors in, in uh, 
before the spring starts. Just in case these ones don't make it, I have some uh, other plants I can put out. Oops. All right. So I didn't have many left over from either pack uh, from all my, <laughs> I guess, failed attempts to get them growing. Um, so I just put them all in the hand. I'm going to mix them together. And then I'll uh, sprinkle them out there and press them in. Uh, let's go. So that's that. Um, all that's left to do is rake up some pine needles that I'm going to use to mulch in here. Well, at least for the strawberries. I might use the leaves further back where I don't have the strawberry plants. Um, that and I need to uh, mulch the, the main bed. I might put a few echinacea seeds out too because they like cold stratification, but I haven't decided on a location yet. So we'll see. So I got most of the, the bed mulched with some leaves. Um, so I haven't decided what I'm gonna do in the garlic area. Um, I think I'll just use leaves, but maybe not as thick as I've done on the outside. Um, I've left some spots blank because I need to still pull out the bulbs and a few things like that. Um, yeah, so after that it'll be just the pine needles, I think. first bag or barrel of uh, pine needles so let's go start putting these down I'm probably gonna have to make a few trips so here we go Some more mushrooms out on the side of the house. This is a space that I'll be showing soon. Get your opinion on some ideas. All right, I'm gonna film a quick update here because um, I'm starving and the battery is almost dead, anyways. All right, so garlic area I mulched uh, lightly with pine needles. Um, Anywhere there's pine needles is where there's something I have planted that I want to uh, make sure it survives. It'll help uh, demarcate that area, and, uh, you know, once the snow melts and all that stuff. 
um, thick layer of leaves all around it. So you can see see better where we have individual strawberry plants now. Um, only a few of these are the original. The rest are runners that rooted in. Rosemary plant won't survive any uh, the hard frosts that are coming soon. Got our milkweed area. And again, thick layer of leaves. That's where uh, some dahlias are coming out at some point. Um, I have a. I need still need to pull the dahlias out or from the mailbox. I'm just planning on doing it all at once. And then the nasturtium plant, I will mulch both of those area, areas once the plants are, are done for. Still got plenty of leaves there. All right. Also quickly show you the side area. Side garden, thickly mulch. Little baby zinnia. I showed this on Instagram the other day. It looks like it's trying to bloom. So I'm gonna let it do its thing, or try to do its thing. Um, I got some bean plants that I had planted late just for fun. I don't expect them to produce anything. We're supposed to get a hard frost somewhere in the next week or two. Um, but I'll wait and once they die off, I'll cover them up. Some Tacane Ruby Buckwheat is volunteering from, apparently there were still seeds left on the cuttings I put over here. So I'm just gonna let that do its thing until it dies off. I'm gonna have a video come out soon more about that plant. So mulch, 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 mulch. Blueberry plant. Hopefully we'll get something from it next year. I put it in this year, um, so I wasn't expecting anything. Um, more of the beans, more thick mulch. And then over here is a raspberry plant that just got shredded this past month. Must have had caterpillars or something, I don't know. Um, but mulched around that, and hopefully I'll get something off that next year. Hey everyone, so obviously this is a little bit later. Uh, my my uh, phone died while I was outside filming, so I didn't get to do, uh, do a goodbye or anything. Um, sorry, here with mischief. She's been very loud lately, so I figured wearing the queen shirt was appropriate. Um, anyways, uh, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, like, share, subscribe. And uh, let me know below what you would do with that large basket of acorns. I'm not sure if I should try making acorn flour for bread, um, leave it for the critters, try selling them. I can't imagine there's a big market for acorns. They're pretty abundant. Anywho, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Oh, most importantly, don't forget to pull the grill.